Hey YouTube, this is Anthony with the Ohm This Channel. We're back on our project of converting the Ford 5.0 HO EFI harness to standalone. In our first video, in the description, I linked to some drawings that we'll be using. This first drawing here is drawing of our sensors up here. This is speed sensor, coolant temp sensor, air temp sensor, so on. Our exhaust uh, oxygen sensors here, the mass flow sensor, and then our injectors right here. The second one, I'm sorry that it's so small, it's the way it printed it out, but it's the relays that we'll be adding to our EFI harness. Here's our four relays here, our power distribution here, and then a description of where our wires are connected there. This is the TFI drawing it's on a distributor. It also has our coil drawing here. This is a drawing of body connectors to the EFI. So you have the uh, oxygen sensors here. You have some dash information here. And then you have the um, some of the sensors into the, into the EFI harness on that one. This last one here is the salt and pepper shakers. It shows a pin out of each one and then a description with the pin number of each wire. Hope these help. Uh, if you haven't printed them off, go ahead and print those off guys and take or put them on your laptop or pad so you have them handy while you're doing your uh, harness. All right, we're back guys. Uh, this is a factory harness. It's pretty daunting looking, but don't worry, we're gonna go through it all. And again, I'll label these before and after and I'll talk specifically about each connector. So first thing we wanna do is go ahead and lay out uh, the harness uh, as easy as we can and try to get a good working start. Okay guys, this is the main part of this harness. Here is your 60 pin connector. Here's the grommet that's going to go through the firewall. Main trunk. Here's your salt and pepper shakers that will be connected to the, the injector harness that's on the actual engine itself. Here's the distributor and the spout. That's what they call this little one, the spout connector. And we'll be going through some of these. Um, I'm not sure if that's what that, we'll, we'll find these out. A lot of this section right here is going to get trimmed out. So, again, we'll go through all these and... Look at that. Uh, I guess that is a bunch of crap we don't need, I believe. I'll check on that in a minute. So, what I'm going to do now is we're going to take a knife. Razor knife. Uh, be very careful, obviously. They're really sharp. We're going to cut all this factory tape and we're going to break this down until it looks similar to this. No wiring on there. I mean, sorry, no tape, no split loom. It's just going to be the wires. Once we do that, we can look at, find all of what we need and label them. So I'm going to stop right now and so I've already got this started and breaking down. I'm not going to tape the whole thing. It's going to take a good little while. Take your time. Be careful. Uh, some of these wires are, are going to be brittle. I found this one was broken inside. You can see where it had been burned. Uh, I don't know if it was an overload or whatever on it. We'll figure it out. It's got a fusible link in it. So we'll figure it out and we'll replace that as uh, we build it. Again, just take your time. Be careful. Uh, the, again, these knives are sharp. And we'll get everything to where it looks all like this. All right, guys. After, after a lot of stripping, uh, I am got the main all broke down. I'm going to stop this video right here and let you guys catch up to stripping the, the harness. And then we'll start the next one with labeling connectors and looking at uh, the wiring and whatnot. After you strip yours down, look over the harness pretty close. Look for anything like real crispy or, you know, something that's not flexible. Uh, anything that's broken 
or bare or or burned because we'll need to we'll need to be able to fix that it may not even be important but it could be very very important so go through if you got something just take wrap a piece of tape around it put like fix burnt wire something like that something to make you go back and look at that a little bit better so get done with this guys and then we'll catch you on the next video